Hello and welcome to iKidapod. We're your hosts for today's program, Brandon Blizzard and Jazzy Duno. Today we're going to be talking about some mushing lingo from Miss Tilly Snowball and some info about Amanda Otto from Jazzy Juno. Clay Snowball is talking about the team dogs. And of course, a race update from Brandon Blizzard. Take it away, Brandon. Brandon Blizzard with your Iditarod race update for March 10th, 2022. As of now, Brent Sass is in first place, followed by Dallas CV and Hugh Meth. In fourth place is Ryan Reddington, and in fifth place is Mitch CV. All five of them have been to the cripple checkpoint. Overnight, one musher did scratch. Anya Rodeno scratched at Nicolay to keep her dog safe and healthy. We are so sad to see her not finish this year. Best of luck next year. Also, a couple of awards have been given overnight. Brent Sass is doing very well right now. He even got the halfway award called the Dorothy G. Page Award. Brent Sass gets a choice of $3,000 in gold or a free phone with service for a year. If I was him, I would pick the gold. Did you know that Brent Sass has won the Dorothy G. Page Halfway Award three years in a row? The other award that has been given is the Spirit of the Iditarod Award to Aaron Burmeister for being the first musher to grab checkpoint at 5.41 p.m. He won handmade prizes, a pair of beaver fur gloves, and a beaver fur hat. Make sure you check back up back tomorrow for some for more race updates over to you jazzy you know hello i'm jazzy juno and today i'm talking about amanda otto amanda is a rookie but she's been mushing for a long time she went to Biola University and graduated before moving to Alaska. She is currently working for Jeff King and racing his dogs. She loves mushing and she's fulfilling her dream of racing in the Iditarod. Over to you, Clay Snowman. This is Clay Snowball and this is Meet the Dogs. Today we will review what it means to be a team dog. There are four different positions for a sled dog to have. The team dogs are in the middle. The team dogs need to be able to run for hours because the team dogs are like the heart of the team, but still has to listen to the other dogs to stay on track. And that's all for today. Hi, I'm Tilly Snowball, and this is Stretch Trivia. Today I want to teach you about the Yukon Quest. Did you know that many Iditarod mushers have also been in the Yukon Quest? The Yukon Quest is a dog sled race that follows the Gold Rush Trail and the mail route from 1898. The Yukon Quest is 1,000 miles and goes from Whitehorse, Yukon, Canada to Fairbanks, Alaska. The Yukon Quest is held in February and started in 1984. The Yukon Quest being in February means that the weather is always a mystery. You never know if it's going to be warm or cold. The first winner of the Yukon Quest was Sony Linder after racing for 12 days. There are also shorter races with the Yukon name, such as Yukon Quest 300, Yukon Quest 350 Alaska, and Yukon Quest 200 Alaska. The Yukon Quest 300 is a qualifying race to be in the Iditarod. If you love following the Iditarod, the next year you should also follow the Yukon Quest. To iKidapod, coverage of the Iditarod, provided by kids. We would like to pay a special thanks to Iditarod.com, the mushers, and of course the dogs. That's all for today. Tune in next time on a Nikita Pod.